In this video, I'm going to describe a partial volume correction technique for PET imaging with a specific focus on multiple sclerosis imaging. MS is a pathology characterized by an autoimmune aggression of myelin sheet resulting in demyelinated lesions. Myelin is a white fatty sheet that surrounds the long neuronal axon forming an electrically insulated layer which increases the speed of neuron signal propagation. When myelin degrades, conduction of signal along the nerve can be impaired or lost. In treatment or assessment of MS pathology, there is therefore the need of sensitive imaging tools to quantify myelination and demyelination. Magnetic resonant imaging is one of the available methodology to provide myelin imaging in vivo. Several MRI sequences are available with different sensitivity to myelin contact. In this work, we are going to focus on T1 weighted sequence, which is widely used in clinical MR imaging due to its high resolution. However, it is characterized by a relatively low specificity to myelin contact. For this reason, an additional imaging technique is required. Positron emission tomography, PET, is an imaging technique that can provide in vivo imaging of several physiological processes. PET imaging with 11 carbon PIB radio tracer has been demonstrated to be particularly suitable for in vivo myelin imaging. In particular, it offers the possibility of longitudinal quantification of remyelinating and demyelinated MS lesion. Despite its high specificity to myelin content, PIB PET imaging is characterized by a lower image resolution than MRI imaging. One way to overcome the limitations provided by both technology is to integrate MRI and PET information in a synergistic fashion. This is possible thanks to the good correlation between the functional and structural signal provided by the two methodologies. Myelin sheet is characterized by a repetition of lipidic bilayer and extracellular space with relatively high water contact, which is the source of T1-weighted MRI signal. The source of PET signal is instead ascribed to the presence of myelin basing protein in the lipidic protein bilayer. In intact myelin sheet, the myelin basic protein claps together adjacent myelin layers. In doing so, it gathers a secondary structure characterized by beta pleated sheet. PIB structure is characterized by high affinity to these beta sheet structures, generating a specific source of signal for PET myelin imaging. However, as already mentioned, PET imaging has lower spatial resolution and the resulting partial volume effect can produce bias in myelin content quantification. Partial volume effect is generated when a point source signal appears as a more spread distribution in the measured image. The main causes are a signal spillover between adjacent regions and the so-called tissue fraction effect when two different tissues are both present in the same image voxel. To overcome the quantification bias introduced by partial volume effect, we are going to combine the structural information from MR imaging into functional PET imaging to improve its resolution and therefore the image quantification. Literature provides a wide range of partial volume correction technique, with some of these based on image wavelet decomposition. These techniques are referred to as voxel-based multi-resolution partial volume correction. In existing techniques, information from high-resolution anatomical images are transferred to the PET images after appropriate statistical weighting. Prior to this, the anatomical image has to be segmented by means of tissue classification or using anatomical atlases. 
this step is unrealistic in MS application due to variability of myelinated lesion presence. In the algorithm presented in this work, the image resolution recovery depends on the ad hoc modeling of the relationship between PET and MRI, and this does not require a prior brain tissue segmentation, and therefore images can be used without any pre-processing step. Both MRI and PET images undergo wavelet decomposition, and the linear model is fitted to the scatter plot defining the relationship between MR and PET signal intensity at the lowest resolution scales. This relationship relies on the assumption of association between myelin-bound water and basic myelin protein. The linear model is calculated in the same fashion between the MR and PET coefficients for all the remaining resolution levels of the wavelet decomposition. New wavelet coefficients are then calculated as the rescale difference between the two linear models, blue and red line, and corrected to account for MR PET differences in terms of information content and image noise. Finally, the new PET wavelet coefficients are mapped back to the image space to obtain high resolution PET images. In this work, we applied this novel partial volume correction technique to a database comprising 10 healthy control and 20 relapsing emitting MS patients. All the subjects underwent both MR and PET imaging. These pictures provide an example of the improved image resolution and lesion detectability achieved with the application of partial volume correction compared to the standard PET. The images refer to a representative MS patient. The high-resolution PET images show sharper white matter contours compared to the standard PET. Additionally, looking at the zoom area in the red circle, a noticeable improvement in lesion detectability can be appreciated in two representative lesions. The quantitative impact of the partial volume correction application on patient images is reported in this box plot. Each box collects the mean value for a specific clinically relevant tissue region for all the patients. The average PIB quantification in the lesional tissues is significantly lower for the high-resolution PET compared to standard PET. On the other hand, there is a consistent increase of the quantification in the perilesional area in the normal appearing white matter and in the gray matter, hence returning lesions with improved contrast. The standard deviation of the two images modality is comparable for all tissue regions. These results show that high resolution PET is more sensitive in quantifying the myelinated content of MS lesions. As an additional check, we calculated PIB quantification as function of the distance from the cerebral spinal fluid for both white matter and gray matter area. In gray matter, PIB estimates are comparable within the first 3 mm after which high-resolution PET returns lower values compared to standard PET. For the white matter, instead, the highest discrepancy between standard and high-resolution PIB estimate is found within 5 mm of distance from the CSF, while the two images become comparable when the distance increases. This suggests that the recovery resolution concurs in correcting the spill-out effect in the white matter border area. This is of relevance given that neurodegeneration around the ventricle is an early process in the pathophysiology of MS. We have developed a robust multimodal methodology for the quantitative resolution recovering of brain PIB PET data here specifically designed for myelin imaging and tested 
on a set of clinical healthy control and MS patients data. The technique produces images with significantly improved quantitative properties and visual quality and this is of straightforward and rapid application. The work presented here is highly relevant for the newly introduced PET MRI scanner as it presents one of the first synergistic approaches combining PET and MRI data for the same target. This work has been made possible thanks to the collaboration between the Institute of Psychiatric at King's College, London and Sorbonne Université in Paris, France.